Place a bag over the patient's chair and place barrier tape over the control panel. Put barrier tape over the mouse and x-ray exposure button. Retrieve a cassette, cotton roll, and rubber band for the bite block. Place two napkins down. Set up the posterior bite block. Put the cotton roll and rubber band on the bite block. When assembling the indicator arm, make sure you're using the one that says posterior. When sliding the ring, make sure the indicator arm is going through the slot marked with a letter P. For a right maxillary posterior periapical, place the two prongs of the indicator arm into the opening of the posterior bite block. Put the sensor horizontally into the bite block. Center the aiming ring over the sensor. For a left maxillary posterior periapical, flip the bite block and flip the ring like a pancake. Center the ring over the sensor. Log in to the computer and pull up the patient's card. Pull up My Packs by clicking the X-rays button on the left sidebar. Then click the radiograph button. Select the appropriate template and press the template icon to pull up a blank template. Then select the sensor icon and choose the correct sensor size. We use size 2. Clear all obstacles out of the way for the patient. Remove patient's glasses and any intraoral devices such as partial dentures, dentures and or lip or tongue piercings. Place a thyroid collar on the patient. Adjust the headrest comfortably. This will help prevent any unwanted movement during an x-ray. Place the x-ray tube head close to the patient to maximize efficiency. In any radiograph, opening the contacts between the teeth allows for interproximal caries detection. There is an imaginary line from the occlusal surface to the root apex called the long axis. The sensor should be parallel to this line. On the control panel, select the premolar and adult setting. Position the device in the oral cavity. Make sure the sensor is parallel to the long axis of the tooth and have the patient bite down slowly, ensuring that they bite down all the way. Slide the ring closer to the patient's cheek. The tube head should be parallel with the indicator arm. Make sure the rectangular collimator is horizontally aligned with the position indicating device. Press the exposure button until the beep is no longer heard. For the premolar periapical, make sure to capture the full length of the crowns and roots, along with the distal half of the canine, 2 millimeters of bone past the root apex, and open the contacts. On the control panel, select the molar and adult setting. Position the device in the oral cavity. Make sure the sensor is parallel to the long axis of the tooth and have the patient bite down slowly, ensuring that they bite down all the way. Slide the ring closer to the patient's cheek. The tube head should be parallel with the indicator arm. Make sure the rectangular collimator is horizontally aligned with the position indicating device. Press the exposure button until the beep is no longer heard. For the molar periapical, capture the full length of the crowns and roots along with the distal of the most posteriorly erupted tooth and tuberosity region. Also capture two millimeters of bone past the root apex and open the contacts. Remove the thyroid collar and dismiss the patient from the chair. Remembering to give glasses and removable intraoral devices back to the patient. Disassemble the beam alignment device and put all the pieces back into the cassette. Place the cassette down the chute for sterilization and throw away your contaminated gloves. Don new gloves before re-entering the unit. Throw away the bag and barrier tape on the control panel along with the blue napkins, plastic sleeve from the sensor, and barrier tape from the exposure button. 
Throw away your contaminated gloves and don new ones. Get out four cavi wipes. One for the thyroid collar and small counter. One for the x-ray tube head. One for the counter. And one for the sensor.